various venues in the NFL. There's a look at Arrowhead Stadium here in Kansas City. A few short moments ago, these two teams made their way out of the stadium tunnels, and the noise level in this place was just about off the charts. They are set for football as the Chiefs get set to do battle with Ben Roethlisberger and the Pittsburgh Steelers. Out comes the Steeler offense now, ready to see what they can do here. They go play action now. Roethlisberger looking for Johnson, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Mike Hughes. And he's going to get this one to the 23-yard line. That's kind of a double whammy. I mean, the interception on the opening drive, that's one thing. But to give him this field position, that's another. Absolutely perfect start for this defense. They take the ball away on the opening possession. They know that their offense will get the ball to start the second half. They line them up in field goal position, and to me, they got a chance for a touchdown right here out of the gate. Give him seven on the play, and that'll make it a second down. Pretty good first down play. Keeps them ahead of schedule, as they say. And ostensibly, they could go right back to it because there are multiple options on this play. Hand it inside, quarterback tucks it and keeps it, quarterback throws the ball downfield. You should be able to react to the defense and have an option available on every snap. From the 16, Mahomes, throw left side complete. That's Robinson. The 13 now they work on first and 10. Throwing now is Mahomes. This one hauled in, and again it's Robinson. Seven yards the pick up there. He decided to run a hitch route. It really helped to have a guy who could turn it loose. And boy, he rifled one in there on that one. Not much run after catch, but it worked really well. From the six now on second and three. Mahomes taps this forward. It's a jet sweep. And he'll get this one back to the five-yard line, but no further than that. A nice play design there with the touch pass. Looked good at the start, but bottom line, the defense was ready. And they did a nice job scouting, didn't they? Not just scouting, but now executing once they saw the play for real after having worked on it all week in practice. They drilled on the play, then they drilled him. Mahomes looks to throw on third down. And he's got it. And he will be very close to a first down, but I see the closed fist of the referee, and that means fourth down. So just three yards on the completion there. And that'll bring up fourth down. Now the Chiefs spring on their field goal unit. From the left hash, a chip shot here. Butker's kick here is good. And the Chiefs are out to a 3-0 lead. In the end, the opening drive, Charles does yield points. Maybe not the touchdown that they wanted, though. Yeah, but bottom line, they wanted to get something out of that drive, and they did that. Three points, they won't turn that down at all. come out to the 25 as McLeod will not return it. So Pittsburgh retakes the field for their second offensive possession. Not the way they wanted to begin things. You had the interception on the first play of the game. The good news, it only led to three points. And remember our conversation with him prior to the ball game? He said they had something special designed for the first play. It didn't hit. Let's see if he can rebound from it and not let it get him down. 
And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack, holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left him no space to try and run. A really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Now Roethlisberger to throw. And the Chiefs are going to get him. Frank Clark. It'll go as a loss of about eight as he gets in there to drop him. Defensive end gets in there that time. They were in a 4-3. What's the responsibility of the ends versus the tackles there, Charles? Well, most of the time, when you talk about the ends, they're your pass rushers. They're, they're the guys that you turn loose to try and get to the guy who's going to throw the football. The tackles are usually more of the run-stuffing variety. But the way this game is advanced, you're wanting a little bit of everything out of all of your guys. But let's just go ahead and break it down and make it simple. The guy who's the right defensive end versus a right-handed quarterback, that's the blind side. He's going after the quarterback. He's going to put him on the ground. On fourth down, here's Presley Harvin on to punt. Now a fair catch signaled for and made right about the 43-yard line. It'll wind up just a 35-yard punt, no return, and it's Chiefs football, first and 10. Kansas City taking the field for their second drive. Their drive last time, it stalled out. They were forced to take the short field goal. And the key phrase, you nailed it. Forced to, because you know coaches look at these short field goals as a last resort, right? To them, that's not how drives are supposed to end. You're supposed to put six on the And oh, his first carry loses the football. And it's picked up by the Steelers. And his guys will take over at their own 44-yard line. Well, he's going to have to shake out the cobwebs first time he touches the football and he drops it on the ground. So many times we talk about quarterbacks and taking care of them early to get them in the flow with safe throws, right? But with a runner, there is no such thing as a safe run, right? And right out of the gate, you're going to be admit, you're going to be in some traffic. Got to take care of the ball, and he didn't do that. And they get to him with a pressure as Roethlisberger goes down. The Mississippi State man, Chris Jones, with a sack there. And on that one, the protection just broke down. You've got to have that leverage, don't you? We always talk about low man wins in the running game for an offensive lineman versus a defensive lineman. It's essentially the same thing in pass protection. Get lower than that defensive lineman so that you can keep your balance and keep him away from your guy trying to throw the football. And he'll grab a gain of five out of this up to the 41-yard line. All right, Brad, I know we're in the early going here, but those kind of runs, they're going to open up a world of opportunities for this offense going forward. Now on third down, an extra DB out there for the Chiefs. To throw here, Roethlisberger. He's going to loft one deep left side here. And this is caught and in for the Steelers' touchdown. Deontay Johnson, 59 yards, and the Steelers have taken the lead. Charles, there aren't really any slow receivers, but there's fast and then really fast. He's really fast, and he showed off the afterburners there. And that he is because when he took off, I was thinking there's no chance that he could actually reach him with that pass. Yet he did, and he's still sprinting. And just think about what that does for everyone else on his team because his ability to stretch a field opens things up for the rest of the receivers on the team. Boswell now to kick it away after the touchdown. Fielded just outside the goal line. And he had no room to run as he's tackled down inside the 20. And Kansas City's offense now set and ready to go. And they had the fumble last time that led to a touchdown. 
That's a no-no. We'll see what they do here this go around. <laughs> a big no-no. Put that in capital letters. Turning it over, the other team takes it down and scores. That could be a deflator for a football team. Now it's up to the offense to get back out on the field and pick things up. Now they're out there. We'll see if they can pick those things back up. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. That's a play to take note of there for the defense. I think in the future, if you're going to try and block him, maybe you get a guard to help double-team him and try and steer him out of the play. They should have done it on that snap. On second and 11 now, Mahomes. They complete it to Hill. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. After one, seven, three, the score on EA Sports. Second quarter from Arrowhead, it's the Chiefs in possession. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Throwing on first down is Mahomes. Throwing over the middle and it's incomplete. He shook his head right when he released that throw. He knew it was going to be a little off target. Yeah, the excitement got him on that one. Wasn't able to control the fact the receiver was open, and it would have been an easy throw. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Looking to throw is Mahomes. He'll swing this one out to Edwards Alaire. It'll be a loss of four yards on the play. And it's going to be third down and a ways to go here. Third and 14. I really like the angles that the tacklers came from on that play. They secured inside, took away the cutback. The sideline's there, so you can only go so far outside. And they were able to close in and tackle him for a loss. Yeah, they use your boy over there, the 12th man. Sammy Sideline, right? Sammy Sideline. You know something? He tackles pretty well, too. He's tougher than an airport stake. Shrugs the tackle. Nice. And he'll be brought down at the 34, well short of the first down marker. That one good for only six, and it leaves him with a fourth down. We can make this one pretty simple. Locked up all of his progressions downfield, forced to get it to his running back. But how about the way they ran to the football and knocked it down to force a fourth down? On is the punter Townsend as he gets this one away. And here's a fair catch taken at about the 24-yard line. Yeah, call it 38 yards on the punt, no return. And the Steelers will go on offense here, first and 10. And Pittsburgh getting set to take the field. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. And he'll take this one up close to the 25-yard line. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times, you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. And he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. Third down, it's Roethlisberger. Johnson's got it complete. And he will have a Steelers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. I don't care how many times we see it, I still get a kick out of watching quarterbacks and receivers do the pass tree in pregame warm-up. But I always remember that when we go to practices, we see that after practices as well. They really tune it up, don't they? They tune it up. They know why they do it for these situations. First down. And they build that trust, and that's why they're able to find him in this type of a situation. Now he's able to break through one tackle, but it slowed him down enough that he could only manage getting back to the line of scrimmage. The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half, and I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. A loss results there. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. Here's Roethlisberger. Looking middle, and it's incomplete. Chase Claypool, the intended target. But now it'll be third down. 
By the way, I got to apologize because I just realized for about the last four or five plays, I'm eking over in your territory up here in the booth. My bad. I'm going to get back over to my spot. Yeah, we're not talking about our on air commentary. I mean, what is all this extra paper? I mean, this is unusual for you. My bad. Normally, you run a really tight ship. What's going on here? Just like that. And he's taken down. A chief sack. It was Melvin Ingram that time who shot in to bring him down. I remember when I was a kid and all I wanted was a nickel so I could get that soda down at the fountain. And guess what? The nickel came into play well. Five defensive backs, they covered well, allowed for the sacks. Sodas were a nickel when you were a kid? No, I just needed the extra nickel oh. so, I could pay the, so I could pay the proper okay, price. Okay, how much were they? A dime? <laughs> what were they? Uh, 15 cents. Fights off the defender. It's a 47-yard punt, return of six. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. And now here comes Kansas City. And it's been very much a slow start for them. Three drives and just the three-point CD. Yeah, if you're into the points per drive ratio, that answer is one. And that's not going to get it done in a ball game. They've got to find a way to finish these drives in end zones, not having balls go through goalposts. And he'll have a gain of three to the 33. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. To throw again on second down. Mahomes, throw right side, going to be caught by Hardman. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. The Chiefs will try and get to the line quickly. Mahomes to throw on third and one. He's got his man, that's Hardman. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Got to say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there, and they pick up the first down. On first and 10, here's Mahomes. Open man here, it's the tight end, Kelsey. The Chiefs will use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. Here's Mahomes to throw. That one tipped, and it's incomplete. A good hands there defensively at second down. Defensively, Charles, they continue to really limit this offense as far as yardage goes. Yeah, you're exactly right. They've been assignment sound, staying in their lanes, keeping proper leverage, and communicating well, too. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and 10. Mahomes going to throw. Oh, into a sea of defenders and intercepted. Picked off by Akello Witherspoon. And the Steelers are going to take over once again, and they'll have it at their own eight-yard line. Charles, not only is that an interception, it's one when you were really knocking on the door for a touchdown inside the red zone. You're actually thinking points. No matter what, at worst, you're thinking kicking a field goal and getting three. We might look back on this in the second half and say, you remember when they didn't get points on that drive? This could cost them. He gets it complete to Harris. Now the Steelers use the first of their three timeouts as the clock stops here with 46 seconds remaining in the first half. Pittsburgh set to take over again on offense. And with a 7-3 lead, we'll see how aggressive they want to be. Looking to throw again on second down. Roethlisberger. 
Now the pressure comes and he goes down. Just inside the 10, back at the 9. Now the Steelers use the second of their three timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. And this turns into disaster. He's not going to get forward progress. That'll be a safety. And you know, the man who sat in my chair the last few years, he has a theory. These plays, these safeties, they're so rare. Maybe they should be worth more than two, maybe four points. I think he's got a great point. I really do, Brandon. But I would go ahead and up it to six. I'm a former defender. Ooh. To me, that's like scoring a touchdown. Easy now. I'll go four. I don't know about six. Come on, come on. Come up to six. <laughs> a lot of points. And remember, following the safety, you give the football up as well. And they free kick it from the 20 now. Fielded just inside the 30. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. The Chiefs going to go back on offense one final time in this first half. And they've got less than 30 seconds to go here, so not a lot of time to work with. A little under 30 seconds to go. We'll see how they play it here on first and 10. So after the INT, here's Mahomes. Caught, Kelsey, left side. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they'll stop it with 25 seconds to go here in half number one. KC's offense ready to take over. And with great starting field position and one timeout in their pocket, they could still come away with points here in the late going. Second down and three. Mahomes now to throw. Pressure comes, and the Steelers take him down. The Chiefs quickly now going to use the last of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go here in the first half. After the sack, things get a little tougher here. Third and long for Mahomes and the Chiefs. Working from the gun, Mahomes taking a deep shot here for Hardman. And unable to connect, incomplete. Now give him credit, they took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. I know he wants to get his team back in the game, but a 50-50 ball right there that maybe was a little questionable. Yeah, he's pretty lucky to get that one back. I think that sometimes these quarterbacks play with a lot of confidence that borders on arrogance, and that can put your team in some dutch. Yeah, especially maybe want to look at some safer routes after the interception he had that ended their last drive. A 41-yard punt there with no return. And control of the football, switching hands with very little time remaining until the half. One more drive here for the Steeler offense in this first half. And with seven seconds remaining, not much time to really do anything. Likely time for one final snap as they start out first and ten. And they'll indeed start on the ground to run that clock. And he'll just push his way forward for a few as the clock will run. So we've reached halftime here with the visiting Steelers out in front. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach from the six. And they will wrangle him down a couple yards shy of the 30. And the Chiefs ready to go on offense to begin quarter number three. And they're still very much in this game, although they do trail. What's the game plan, Charles, for the second half? It might be a little counterintuitive because most people will think losing equals passing the ball more, but I'd establish the running game. They kind of went away from it in the first half. I think if they get back in balance, it'll help them when they put the ball back in the air. Meanwhile, Mahomes throw into the hands here of Hardman. Three yards the game there, second down. Now Mahomes. 
And he can't escape, and down he goes. T.J. Watt picks up his second sack of the afternoon. We are seeing two really confident defenses imposing their will on these offenses in this game. Yeah, absolutely, going toe for toe. Just curious if one of these offenses can wake up a little bit. Is there any way they can find something that can pop, something big to knock them back on their heels? He finds Robinson. They wind up getting 16, but even that's not quite enough. It's fourth down. On third down, you'll give them that. You just want to make sure that you play the first down line. They were able to get him down and force the punt. Here's the Chiefs punter now, as he'll come on to kick this one away. He'll send this one into the Midwestern air, and it's a good one. And a nice job here on special teams. This will be down inside the 10 at the 8-yard line. And for an offense that is struggling, this is not where you want to start from. Great punt. Fantastic punt. And for all those who wonder, what do punters do during the course of practice each and every day? The best ones do what we just saw there. Work on positioning the football and helping their team. On first and 10, it's Roethlisberger. He'll get this to his tight end. That's Pat Fryermuth. And brought down, but not before reaching the 25. And what a nice example there of a tight end doing exactly what he needs to do. How about how he worked his way to the outside, made sure he secured the catch, and then anything after that, we count that as a bonus. And indeed, he gets enough for the first down. Roethlisberger on the draw, it's Harris. And he's gonna take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. On second and seven, Roethlisberger fighting to stay upright. That's caught by the 6'8 tight end, Zach Gentry. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. It's taken a while for this offense to get going. A little creaky at the start, but they're oiled up now. A nice throw there, and they're really putting together a good drive. So now first and 10 in Chiefs territory at the 47. On the give, this is Harris. And some room to roam now. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice, because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. I'm just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there, and it's second down. As his old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out high. They expected it and got there and popped it free. Third quarter of a two-point game, a good one so far. Here's second and ten. They hand this off to Harris. They get him to the ground right on the cusp of the red zone after a pickup of five or six. And that looked like some pretty easy yardage there right up the gut. And he's a guy that has some height to him. So when you don't have to drop a shoulder or create or get through contact or trash, it makes it a lot easier to stay upright, see the field, and make a run as we just saw there. Now Roethlisberger. Toward the sideline, did he keep the feet in? Yes, he got them both down, says the side judge, and that's good enough for a first down. Now how about this throw right here? Had to throw it to the left sideline, and you know the timing's got to be correct on this one. Ball's got to be right where it needs to be, and it was. That's because he had great arm strength on that one, able to drive the football. Quarterbacks love it when they can show off their arms. And the hole closes quickly here. He can fight only to about the four. It's a gain of a yard, and it'll set up second and goal. Be interesting to see now what they do offensively down near the goal line after not much there that time. As the offensive play caller, that may change your sequence now. Instead of coming right back with a running play, you may have to go to the air. 
Harris going to get it again on second down. And he's going to take it in for a Steeler touchdown. Najee Harris taking it in from four yards out. And the Steelers go nearly the length of the field and finish it off with six points. Extra point now by Boswell. And that makes it a nine-point game. Makes the score for Steelers 14, Chiefs 5. Boswell now to kick it away after the touchdown. This will be fielded inside the five. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. Now this Chiefs offense gets set to go again. And they're coming off a three and out, my friend. I think they've got to look at that play sheet and go to a spot that they haven't gone before. Time to shake things up a little bit to try and get this offense moving. Okay, so how do you do that? How do you shake things up? You look at what you've called before, <laughs> realize it hasn't worked so well. Go to so something well, else. And maybe you try and find one of those special plays from one of your better players, and maybe try and hit something big and get things going in the excitement area. Three yards the game there, second down. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here, and if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, Get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score. No, oh, a heck of a oh, move. Man. And he stopped right at the 25 after a gain of five. Well, they still have time to get him established, but in my estimation, they've got to pick up the urgency here. They've got to get quickly in and out of the huddle and run off a bunch more plays. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Edwards Alaire, they'll try to run for it. And he's got the first as they'll bring him down at the 28-yard line. Three quarters in the books. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. We're back now in KC. It's the Chiefs with a football butt with work to do on the scoreboard. They trail as we start quarter number four. On first down, Mahomes. Open man is the tight end, Noah Gray. And they're able to get this one across the 35. This possession means so much for them. They've got to focus on this drive and find a way to make this a one-possession game. Yes. Got to get a score. Yeah, so good with a field goal. Don't necessarily need a touchdown. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Throwing now is Mahomes. They'll set up the screen to Edwards Alaire. Oh, he breaks a tackle, and he's got an alley. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. You cannot write these guys off just yet, not with a quarterback like that under center. You mean it actually crossed your mind with him running the team that you could actually maybe write this game off? Not yet. Not a chance. Not with him. We've seen it too many times. Operating out of Steeler territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 48-yard line. Mahomes taps this forward. It's a jet sweep. That's a nice job there defensively being able to diagnose that little touch pass. They saw it coming, converged on him before he could get much out of it. And again, it's Mahomes. It's complete to Robinson. Well, correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah, you're down two scores. I don't think you need to rush just yet, but you can't take your time either. Yeah, even if you don't want to commit to full two-minute offense, you have to up the tempo, up the urgency. Maybe you're starting to call two plays in a huddle each time you snap the ball. Let's go, 
Throwing on first down is Mahomes. Open man, it's the tight end, Kelsey. And in for the Chiefs touchdown. Travis Kelsey, 35 yards. And the Chiefs have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. So how about that for an answer? They get the touchdown there, and it's back to a one-score game here in the fourth. And that's what these guys have done all game long because they've scratched and slashed their way to stay in this game. And by now, we should all realize they're not going away. Now the pressure again swings to their defense because they're going to need to find some way to get the ball back. across the 20 to the 21 yard line. The Steelers ready for their next possession. After the touchdown we just saw, we have a brand new ball game. And now look at the situation. You've got plenty of time on the clock. Defensively, they have three timeouts. So do you run the football here or do you throw it? I think you have that full conversation with your offensive unit. And you tell them, here's the situation. They got all their timeouts, so we are not going to play this conservatively. We've got to attack them. We've got to make them use those, gain the ground that we need in order to put this game away. If you think we're just going to run it three times and punt it, you've got another thing coming. Yeah, I and mean, by the way, also the two-minute warning in play, so essentially four timeouts left. They have to be aggressive here. Clock continuing to run. They'll probably wind this all the way before snapping it on second down. Now Roethlisberger. To the sideline, and it's caught, but boy, he's out of bounds. Well, they try to get him into space coming out of the backfield, but it'll be third down. Well, you most certainly don't want to go three and out here and give the football right back because your friend, Old Momentum, he's wondering if he should change sidelines about right now. And if you don't convert here, guess what? He's going to make the trip to the opposite side, and all of a sudden, you've got a battle on your hands. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. Critical play in this football game, because if they pick up the first there, that clock keeps rolling. Has to be a little frustrating for them, because they know that they pick up a first down there and continue to eat away at the clock, really increases their chances of closing this one out. Now they're likely to have to give the football up and sweat it out on the sideline. On is the punt team now as this one sent away. Oh, a nifty juke there. Not much fun for a guy trying to tackle it. That'll be a 47-yard punt, officially five on the return. And possession will switch hands first and ten. Here's the Kansas City offense now as they get set to take over. And you sense the tide turning. They scored, then their defense forced the punt, and now a chance to ultimately take the lead here late. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and ten at the 34. He'll throw from the gun. That's caught left side by Hardman. And he'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. I got the sense that the defense created a little momentum for him there, didn't they? Did their job, forced the punt. Now, nice start to the drive. Offense has to do their part. Yeah, they certainly do, but what a great start for them. They got to go thank the guys on D. Throwing again on second down. Mahomes, the tight end, Kelsey has it over the middle. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and watch him drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there, not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed, too. Mahomes now on first down. Throw is going to be incomplete. A lot of times it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get it in pre-snap and he locked in on his target, but he was covered quite well, and that one's incomplete. 
Second and ten. Again, they'll throw with Mahomes. Complete the tight end, Kelsey. And they will get him down, but not before he gets very good yardage there, as that will lead us right into the two-minute warning. First and ten, it's Edwards Alaire with it. Cameron Hayward in on the tackle. I like it. I like the call. Still an opportunity to run the football and chew up a little more time off the clock. The Chiefs will try and get to the line quickly. Mahomes will throw. Going to throw deep for the end zone. And that is caught for the touchdown, Kansas City. Clyde edwards aware there to make the grab. And the Chiefs are going to jump back in front. There it is, partner. You see it. Four fingers. What does that mean? Fingers. That, four, that signifies the fourth quarters here. That's right. Who's going to dominate? Usually both teams are holding them up. We own the fourth quarter, what we found out so far. Two touchdowns in here, and now they've taken the lead. That second one putting them in front. You know what I see on the other sideline, though? It seems like they've tensed up, had that lead. They were playing not to lose it, and they've lost it. That's a great observation. When you play not to lose, you usually don't win. Now, though, they'll have the opportunity to respond. Touchdown, here's Bucker on to kick it away. McLeod now on the return. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. So Ben Roethlisberger in the offense. Down by five, less than 90 seconds to go. They need a touchdown. A field goal is worthless now as they come up on first and ten. Ben going to throw. Connecting with Johnson. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. Uh, he's been quiet all afternoon. He may have just come up with a play of the day right there, though. Obviously, it's not the volume in what you get done. It's the quality, and that was a quality catch right there. First down now, but that clock rolling. Here's Roethlisberger. Pass complete to Harris. And he's able to get this to the 40-yard line before he's out of bounds. That's what they need right now. Get the first down, get out of bounds, stop the clock. Just playing smart football, understanding the situation, making the plays necessary, and making sure that clock stops at every opportunity. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Here's Ben. Well, that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there. Forced the ball free, and it's second down. Whew, that's certainly not the worst thing. It stops the clock and lets your offense catch its breath and lets us exhale a little bit. Now I expect them to call a couple plays in the huddle, so they're ready if a tackle happens inbounds. Now Roethlisberger. Looking left sideline, incomplete. Back-to-back -back incompletions, but we know this is definitely four-down territory. Time not on their side. I don't think they want to try and get the first down in two installments. I think they got to go and get it right here, right now. An important play right here, third and ten. And I would expect pressure here. Now Ben. And now another one thrown incomplete. That means it's just one last chance left, and this has to be a first down or a touchdown, or this game's over. And down by 
five. They've got to go for it here on fourth down. Here we go. It's Roethlisberger on fourth down. Going for the deep ball. It's incomplete. Took a shot. Couldn't connect. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And the Chiefs defense comes up with a stop. So good starting field position for him here as they come up first and 10 at the 40. Here's Edwards Alaire as they will start on the ground. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Now the Steelers use the first of their three timeouts as the clock will stop with 33 seconds remaining. And out come the Chiefs now. And still two timeouts defensively, but even if they choose to use those, three kneel downs should be enough to get out of here with a victory. And that's exactly what's being stated into the head coach's headset. Oftentimes they have a guy upstairs who monitors this at the end of the game. A little clock management 101. The Steelers signal for the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 ticks to go in the football game. Victory in the cards now for the Chiefs as they take a knee here. Now the Steelers going to use their third and final timeout as they'll stop it with a little over 30 ticks to go in the football game. And with a third and 13 here, the defense in a dime look. Mahomes down to a knee, and that should just about write a finish to this one. Partner, they took a knee to finish this one off. To me, that's the only thing they lost in the fourth quarter. How about that comeback? Yeah, trailed coming into the last frame. Got it done, taking the knee. Here's the Chiefs punter now, as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. Yeah, yikes. Terrible kick headed straight for the sidelines. Come on, fellas. Well, Charles, this one's going to be hard to digest. You take the lead into the fourth quarter, lose that lead. Maybe they felt like they let this one slip away a little bit. They will definitely feel like that because when you have a lead in the fourth quarter, all you talk about doing is finishing and closing a game out. But when you flip it over, how about that? Making the comeback and then finishing the game, sealing it on defense, they will feel jubilant in their locker room. 